Greetings. And in this video, we will show the decision making logic in trading based on multi chart and cluster chart volume analysis. I will show my today's trades, but first I will explain the approach. So, first I analyze the multi chart and identify the current trends in market behavior. On the multi chart, we can see the dynamics of each day, in particular for me, it is the last five days of trading. You can adjust the colors, dates. So let's analyze together how the last week developed and identify the current pattern. Let's switch off all days except for today and last Wednesday. So what we see, we see that approximately after 10 o'clock the market formed the down and went up. Then Thursday. It's about the same trend. The market reached the bottom at about 9.30 and went up. Friday. The bottom was reached a little later, at 10.30, but the dynamics is about the same. Then Monday, it was a little bit out of the current trend, but there was also an attempt of growth, about 10 to 10.30 Chicago time. And Tuesday. Here we also see the growth from the level of 10 o'clock. That is, we can already identify the pattern of the beginning of the bull trend after reaching the local minimum around 10 to 11 o'clock. So, note that we are interested only in the main session of Chicago. It is from 8.30 to 15.00. Gradients mark the first half an hour of trades as the most volatile. Let's analyze the first half an hour of trades separately. We can note that there is a tendency to hold the lower boundary of the channel, formed in the first half an hour of trading and subsequent growth. It was like this last Thursday. It was like this on Friday. Further on Monday, we had a different dynamics of development, and it was so yesterday, i.e. Tuesday. There was also a hold, but here there was a complicated false breakout, but the idea then worked out from the local level. Thus, we have two scenarios. The first one is buying from the lower boundary of the channel at the first half hour of trading. And the second scenario is buying on the correction around 10 to 11 hours Chicago time. But that scenario alone is not enough. It's like the current picture, the current balance of forces on the market, should also fit into our scenario. And that's basically the main idea, to make all the puzzles fit together. And then we analyze the cluster charts. This is the hour chart on the right side and on the left side the cluster chart, the minute chart. So, in today's session, we see that we have a key level under the dream 44.0 and at the market opening, we approached this level and made a retest, and thus, the current picture fully fits into our initial scenario. So, we have a market opening at 8.30. We've got volume knocked out here, accumulations. And at some point we also had a volume breakout exactly at our key level of 44.00. And at some point I decide to take a long without waiting for consolidation on the minute chart. We have volume at the price of the level, volume accumulation, and this trade ended with break even. Further the market held this level, which was formed by volumes at the market opening. It was from this level that I bought. This trade will end with a loss, but still the scenario worked out for me, and the market specifically our hour level went up. Next. How else can we enter the market? How can we find entry points? The VWAP line is a great help in this. And it works well exactly when the market breaks the local level, when it goes above the VIVAP line and returns to the retest. In addition, we had volumes on the cluster chart and a local level, or rather the border of the local range. The market broke through this zone and returned to retest the VWAP line and the local level. And it was here that I took a long position. Take profit was at the level of maximum volumes of last week, the week before last and yesterday. There is such a cluster of important levels here. And it was here that I closed the position about 4 to 1. And then the market started to take out volumes and hold the maximum volume of yesterday, the POC last day line. At this point, we go back to the multi chart again and note another pattern. If we look closely, we see that somewhere around the 9th of September, 30 the market was actively bouncing off the local high of the day. Again let's look at each day separately. We see Wednesday, a rebound from the local high. Next, 
Thursday, also a bounce. Friday, there was also a bounce, but a little bit smarter, with a false breakdown. Monday, also a bounce. And Tuesday, also a bounce, but a little earlier. In addition to this scenario, we have a rationale. This is last day's high. And we can see that we have the accumulation of volume here from the close of last session. So, the market was coming back to retest this level. And I decided to take a short here. My first target was at the price of this local level, where there were volumes. And my second target was at the VWAP line. I closed the first part of the position at take profit and the second part was taken out at break even. The first part was 3 to 1 and the second part at break even. Next, the market reversed. We had volumes on lows. We tested the VWAP line and also then there was a great entry point to long from the level of maximum volume of the last session. And the market came down beautifully. Thus, by identifying the latest market trends with the help of multi-chart and combining them with cluster chart analysis, VWAP line analysis, maximum volume analysis, we can create a very effective strategy and get an advantage in the market over other market participants. That's all for now. Subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos next, where we will show you how you can effectively apply volumes in trading on the stock exchange. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.